let it burn. Oh, let it burn. Let the fire of the Spirit in your life burn. Refuse to be ordinary. Refuse to be substandard. Refuse to be general. I'm not a general guy, you know? So no, I'm not a general guy. I'm not average. And you know, when the anointing is on your life, your vision expands. You start seeing things beyond you. I told you yesterday, you can't just be concerned about you and your little family. No, once you receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life, He enlarges your vision. He enlarges your vision. The city becomes small to you. The country becomes small to you. The world becomes small to you. Imagine if you are on now, doing what God is asking you to do, what do you think will happen in five years' time? You would have had five years of practice. Five years of growing. So in five years' time, you'll be far more excellent. But if you don't do anything now and wait until five years' time, you'll be a starter, a beginner, five years' time. One of the advantages that I have is that I started early. I started early. No waste of time. I started early. I started early. So I, I, I've put in years of practice walking with God. The Bible says Enoch walked with God. So you can walk with God. You walk with God. So if you start now, in five years' time, you'd have had another five years of walking with God. Ten years of walking with God. It's important. It matters because it trains you. See, the Holy Spirit trains you. And if you, if you yield yourself to Him now, then you're in for the training. You're in for the training. I mean, you, you, you shouldn't, at the age of... 40 be making mistakes that you should have made when you were 15. Do you understand what I mean? I mean, you should have made all your mistakes earlier. It's not acceptable that at a certain age of your life you're making blunders. Make your mistakes now. By practicing now. By doing God's word now. And then be corrected and guided. And perfect your way in Christ. That's the way. Seek opportunities to express what God has put inside you. Seek opportunities. Be involved in the church. Be involved. Seek to be involved. Don't wait until someone calls you. Seek to be involved. You can start something if it doesn't exist in the church. If the opportunity doesn't exist, start it. Don't just stay there. Don't let the fire that God has set up in you quench. The Bible says quench not the spirit. You've got to encourage the work of God in your life. Don't just go back and, and, and sleep away and just let it go. Like you never heard. Like you never got the inspiration. The Bible says quench not the spirit because it is possible to quench the spirit. Let your fire burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. And God will tell you what to do. Sometimes he may stir you up and say... Do a musical outreach. Possibly. It could be a musical outreach. And of course, a lot of times the church facilities are there and they're not being used. They use them on Sunday and then maybe on Wednesday and then some special meetings. So it's free for you. It's free for you. So you start out with the church and then take it out and then have the big ones. You start it out just like that. If you pray, the Spirit of God will open your mind, will open your mind.